Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass, your home for glass blowing. Thanks for tuning back in. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get going, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We are about to hit 500. Could not be more thankful. I am enjoying these weekly recaps, these heady glass, weekly glass recaps. Talking about all things heady, anything to do with the glass market, new artists, shows, maybe a little bit of drama, products, anything I find valid to talk about in the heady glass community. Hopefully you find some, you know, education, some something valid for my videos. Maybe you just want to relax, take something positive away from my videos regardless, and we're going to get right into it. Switched up the format for this week, have it a little bit different because Instagram is in a vertical format and YouTube is horizontal. Uh, just tripled up the image. So hopefully, you know, this will do well to fill up the space on the actual screen. And uh, yeah, you'll have a little bit better chance to see what we're looking at here. So starting off this week's episode with Piper Dan and a collab with Mr. Facet. Absolutely love Piper Dan. Legendary work. Anything Japanese theme, I personally love. He sticks with the Japanese castles and the cherry blossoms and just the intense millie work put into these elaborate marbles coupled and collabed with the actual mr facet so legendary he says it's 101 facets i would have guessed way more than that but that is how many facets went down on this piece and it is seriously legendary so just scrolling through this really caught my eye and i knew i had to feature this one as well i'm i just now noticed the opal hiding out behind the actual castle so yep piper dan is a magic man this one right here as i was scrolling it also caught my eye because this is jfell and this is something a little bit different from him i'm not a huge jfell buff but i love his work he is a legendary artist stays on the grind some serious inspiration some serious art and so this is a new style he said he's been thinking about and just the way it crosses just that recycler is insane to see the mouse mouthpiece and yeah just the orange and purple just coupled into that insane recycler insane to see new work from artists so it's awesome to see somebody legendary for a style but then also continue to push their boundaries so jfell glass this one right here rj glass uh i thought it was interesting i'll note he posted it's like a video technically but it's like half a second and so it's like barely shaking so i thought that was interesting but he had this bird sherlock bird lock up for grabs and he said it's limeade i am not sure what color it is that's one of the main things i thought I was like, man is it uv what color is that it's insane paired with the beak is some type of maybe uh gold ruby i don't know and the tongue just how precise the tongue is it might be my favorite part out of the whole piece his milly eyes so cool to see rj glass putting in putting the birds into something a little bit different you see the birds but then having it in other styles of art something a little bit more simple a little bit more laid back love to see it this one right here this one's actually a square format so i'll just try to like push the picture around but we have got lion's glass with a collab somebody new to me 603 glass and they hung out 603 is a big fisherman does the fish stuff and so they got down on a collab after a fishing trip and this was their work so i thought that was really cool to see of course legendary lions with the actual kind of like texture lemons i think that's really cool and the actual millies that he puts on all of his pieces so this one is just kind of a limeade, kind of a lemon lime. That fish with the milly eye, I really like, and his tail. Make sure you're able to see that. Then we've got the same Sherlock again right there. And then some of their actual fish that they caught. So I think that's really cool. Just the, just the whole story, just seeing when something gets made like that. So functional, it's got the pendant, it's got a bead. Whole little, little sesh right there. So yeah, lion's glass and 603. This one right here, Bluegrass Glass, with a collab with somebody also new to me, ESP Glass. This is a literal lava lamp for me. 
uh yeah this wigwag work the smoky gray black fading into the actual red and yellow wow that's that's intense i love the background and the editing as well the termination on that piece is insane it's like a fire kind of sunburst explosion typically i think there's like lava like little chunks so i don't see that worked into this piece but that is super cool uh wow the the bottom is even more like squished with those wig lights. that's really i really like that as well the signature not a lot of artists do really big signatures uh like that i know salt glass has got a really leg legendary huge signature where he can fit it in but this the bubble lettering with that bluegrass i think that is really cool and up top it's probably some type of like uh sparky disco sparkle some type of color fading all the way through it i mean it just literally I, I i can't get over it looks like smoke it looks like fire lava i really really love this collab and this bluegrass and esp glass super cool right here if you don't know you've been sleeping underneath a rock somebody i've been following before i even blew glass universe gates in still to this day magic man i have no clue how he does it and i really do enjoy seeing his work brings a smile to my face it just explodes my brain every time i see it the fact that they're so small he does different sizes and everything this particular marble we're looking at it is so small the bigger the marble the bigger the item the bigger the target you have to hit but that is such a small marble and it's an entire universe it's an entire world inside that marble I can't get over his work time and time again it blows my mind i could go on forever universe gateson just knocks it out of the park i mean something out of neverland it's so just so cool i mean the fact that it's made out of glass crazy he made this post he was actually having issues with scammers posting on his instagram so that, yeah that's something that's going around but man his artwork blows my mind so yeah tammy fucking baller she is a legendary artist hope to meet her someday she is so cool pulling out some dope some real as fuck sculpture work and i like the fact that it's clear on the joint piece for scooby-doo and that it's not just chocolate to like make it blend in like you know where the joint is at on that piece the actual collar and the tag where it says the sds for scooby-doo sculptural his face super awesome just a quick little video she posted up so i thought i'd have to feature this and show that off because i love that right here we have got ob wook glass super awesome homie gets down with fortnite with me and sherlock but yo he has got some awesome dot work he has been working on the dot works are not easy nothing in glass is really easy but to keep these dots straight a lot can go on a lot of technical just tiny little dot works to pull those down and keep them all even and keep it all looking symmetrical that is a lot of work a lot of a lot of time and effort goes into those dots and super awesome to see with the pokemon i don't even know what color the green is in the back so yeah that that i'll have to ask him i wonder what color that is uh it's like a solid mystic mystique not too sure the flame work i really do like the how precise and sharp the flames are centiquil looking awesome from obi wood glass the pendant here we have got glass by boots she is another texas artist as well putting out a little juicer right here a little pocket slammer and she's got a banana millie on there i thought that a little slice i thought that was really cool just something small thrown in your pocket just hide away just a little just a little hitter so i thought that was really cute just with her legendary fruit work and yeah just something small just something cute delicate small to put on the table super awesome glass by boots and it looks like we have come to the last submission for the week that we are talking about jop glass throwing down with hoobs and somebody new to me karsten glass 10 and yeah this is just something that could have its own document uh uh its own documentary its own like session its own video all its own 
but man they threw down at champs and this has to be you know top 10 top 100 pieces i've seen this is insane so much work so much knowledge goes in to a piece to be able to pull something like this off saving the heaters for the last submission like always for these episodes crazy they call this piece the terpenator terminator terpenator but man i don't even know what color that gray is how how it looks so steel like man just how accurate the piece itself how large it goes all the way up i mean that's like a two footer right there huge huge piece the way the each panel is put together it's insane and we are all lucky to be able to see pieces like this this is crazy to know pieces like this go down hope to see in real life pieces like this if not this piece itself because this goes down museum quality this is something that is like it goes it goes down in history for sure so i just like to note something like this for the community to be able to talk about it i feel lucky to even be able to look at it just the fact that it's just chilling here so simple and it's like a crazy insane piece if you just wouldn't know you might just kind of go whoa that's cool and just keep scrolling but it's that's that's insane uh competition piece at champs trade show chicago 2022 throwing down jop hoobs and karsten insane hopefully you've enjoyed the new format with the triple image just trying to take advantage of the horizontal format making it the best show i can for you guys hopefully i'm doing a good job let me know down in the comments what you think how i could make these episodes better what you want to see i do hear your requests anybody that has ever commented i'll follow who you want me to feature and i'll wait to see a awesome piece that week because i'd like to try to keep these episode series current what's going on that week you know i could go back in history and i might end up doing that but i want to keep these episode series these episodes super current like that week this week uh i'm also going to switch over back to just the regular video so yeah that is going to probably wrap up this week's episode kicking back relaxing talking about some awesome next level artwork with you guys things that inspire me on the daily just wanting to take this art and put it onto youtube for you guys to share it to be able to talk about it hopefully you relax kick back find some new artists that you didn't know about it is uh it's it's a job within itself to just scroll through instagram and just try to stay up to date see what's going on because if you just don't stay glued to social media to instagram it it just keeps it just keeps on going it just passes you by day by day so i just try to like to make these like a uh, time capsule in a way to just talk about the art eventually i want to take these on the road i want to do different things with this art with this uh medium and this channel but just to have this platform to talk to you guys weekly about what i see on instagram because it's just scrolling it's just going through but these are like works of art these are things that are like so tangible and to be held and looked at for hours and to be passed and shared and so the fact that we are lucky enough and spoiled enough to just be able to scroll through like a casino just gambling looking at what's next what's next what what is next uh i feel like we almost take it for granted so just the ability to put it into words to talk to you guys hopefully you find some uh value in my videos on an educational form uh or an entertainment form uh you know i am a glass artist but also a consumer so just trying to give you that that balanced opinion what i see and what i think you know uh i just want to i want this to be a positive place to talk about heady glass but just anything heady glass so let me know in the comments uh what you want to see i will listen to you uh we want to make this series better i'm getting a hopefully getting a channel sponsor here soon been talking about it for a while but i'm making it happen it's just a lot of footwork because i want to grow this series we're almost at 500 that is insane if you've made it this far you're the real mvp 
just rambling on so we're gonna wrap up this week's episode i like to try to do them on friday this week we did it on saturday but look forward to sometime over the weekend i want to stay consistent with them uh you know i'm actually gonna go check right now before i end this episode what what episode we are on i believe we might be on 20 it's either episode 19 or episode 20 and it looks like yeah looks like we are we have just wrapped up episode 20 so just like that tune in next week like comment and subscribe but most importantly never stop evolving